Looking at Romina, it's difficult to imagine that at six years old, she's already experienced unthinkable trauma. Three years ago, she witnessed her father stab her mother 13 times in the middle of the parking lot of the sheriff's substation in Imperial Beach. At three years old, she was describing the scene to us like, Papi's a bad man. Papi, they took him to time out because he poked mommy with little sticks. In July of 2013, 60-year-old Marvin Dennis Duncan was sentenced to 25 years to life after pleading guilty to the first-degree murder of his estranged wife, Rocio, who was 36. Rocio left Marvin after repeated domestic violence assaults. The two married in April 2011, but in September of 2012, they began divorce proceedings and a bitter custody battle. There was a time when, yes, the knives finally came out in her drawings instead of little sticks and then blood, and then the nightmares, the talk of blood and gory stuff. Romina's younger sister, Naxieli, also witnessed their mother's murder. She was just one at the time. Cuando yo me entero de todo esto, quedo como que estoy en una pesadilla. Para mí esto no era real. After Rocio's death, both girls were adopted by their grandparents, Juan and Elsa Medina. Yo, mi esposo y yo, ya somos grandes. Las niñas tenían un año y tres, tres años, Romina. En ese tiempo, tuve mucho miedo. Mucho miedo. ¿Cómo voy a educar a mis niñas? Experts say in domestic violence cases, it's often the children who get overlooked. And the ensuing trauma caused by the violence they witnessed can have lasting effects on their development. Luckily, the Medinas found their saving grace in Mia Escuelita, a free and bilingual therapeutic preschool in Chula Vista for children ages three to five. The children who go to school here have one thing in common. They have all experienced some kind of emotional, psychological, or physical abuse or witnessed a family member become a victim of domestic violence. Cuando supe me recibieron con los brazos abiertos, recibieron a nuestras niñas y fue una esperanza, una esperanza a la escuelita de las que las cosas iban a estar mejor. Nice job, Natsieli. Mi escuelita is a place where children begin to heal from their trauma so they can start on the right path for school. And instead of discharging their trauma in unhealthy ways, like acting out or withdrawing, you're going to use these to decorate, OK? At Mia Escuelita, children learn how to express their feelings in a safe environment. Good job, Eric! Mia Escuelita children outperform their peers in math standards at an average of 96%. Children attending the Chula Vista Elementary School District had a general passing rate of 80%. The success pattern is also similar in reading. We want them to be able to have a safe place where they're able to start really um, recovering from what it is that they've gone through. School administrators say it's also important to help families through the healing process and the aftermath of the trauma. So helping parents to understand and know that they don't have to do this alone, I think is really important. The Medina say Mi Escuelita has been a blessing in the midst of all the tragedy. Nos ayudaron mucho y yo le doy gracias. Gracias, mil veces gracias a la Escuelita por todo el amor, el apoyo que nos han brindado. Yo estoy muy, muy agradecida. I see a normal life here after, after we were able to, with the help of Mi Escuelita and therapist, to finally discharge all this trauma and rage that the family is carrying. The hurt of losing a child, that's never gonna go away. The hurt that I see in my wife over the death of her daughter, that's never gonna go away. That's always gonna be there. But the, the resiliency and the coping to live going forward, that's what we really must engage in. With photojournalist Eduardo Contreras, I'm Allison Sampate Montecalvo, reporting for the San Diego Union Tribune.